Uh, the Israeli army says 10 more soldiers have been killed in the northern Gaza Strip. It says a commander is among those killed during the fighting on Tuesday. Israeli military saying 115 troops have now died since its ground operation against Hamas started on October 31st. Let's go live now to Alan Fisher in occupied East Jerusalem for us. Uh, Alan, what more are we hearing on the deaths of the uh, Israeli soldiers? Uh, that figure of 10 just been updated in the last hour by the Israeli army. Uh, we are told that this was uh, an operation in, uh, uh, in one of the refugee camps in Shijaya, uh, in the northern part of the Gaza Strip. Um, soldiers were moving into a building which they described as swarming with, quotes, terrorists. And as they moved into the building, there was a big explosion. Uh, that obviously injured, seriously injured, a number of soldiers. A second group went in to rescue those who'd been caught up in that attack. And there was a second explosion. And incredibly, a third group went in to rescue the first two groups. And there was a third explosion. It's clear that this was an ambush that was well planned, uh, meticulously carried out. Uh, and, of course, uh, we're now told that eight people... Uh, nine people, nine soldiers died I I in that incident, as well as one other elsewhere uh, in Gaza. Now, one of those who died was a colonel. He is the highest-ranking soldier to die in the operation. And, in fact, this is the second largest loss that Israel has suffered I in any one day in the war, in any one incident. Uh, Eleven people were killed. Eleven soldiers were killed in the early days of the war, at the end of October, uh, when their armoured personnel carrier uh, was struck by a missile. So this is a, a serious loss. Benny Gantz, who is one of the, the three members of the, the War Cabinet, a uh, former defence minister, has said that uh, this, uh, at this time Israel is fighting its second war of independence and is taking a heavy, painful and difficult price and said that every death of every soldier is a scar on the state of Israel. Uh, there's also this report in the U.S. media, Alan, of uh, tunnels in Gaza uh, being, being uh, flushed out with, with seawater by uh, Israel's army. What, 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 are we, what are we hearing on that? It's certainly been an idea that's been floated several times, as well as actually flooding the tunnels with some sort of gas as well. Joe Biden, the U.S. president, was asked about it uh, when he was at uh, the White House uh, on Tuesday. He said that he hadn't heard of, of that plan, particularly as it related to possible some of those who are being held captive in Gaza being in these tunnels. He said that uh, he uh, didn't know whether that was the case, that captives were being held and these tunnels. Of course, there's a deep concern that if they start flooding these tunnels with seawater, it will mix in with the groundwater in Gaza as well and will essentially make any potable water that is accessible in Gaza through the ground almost uh, unusable. So that's a big concern for the people in Gaza as well at a time when they're struggling to find enough water to survive. Alan, thank you. Alan Fisher in Occupied East Jerusalem.